by side. Here we go. Walters trying to get the drop on Ryan Thomas. Ryan hikes the wheel there. A little bit of character in turn number one, as you see. Almost upset the balance of Thomas, who is really being persistent. And suddenly the 34 turns around. And now we've got a parking lot in turn number four. For a moment, the track might be blocked. So you had a whole series of cars stop. That's the situation there. So that's what makes it a little bit more complicated. So here we go. That gives the lead to the two of leadsmen. Jordan Reaver right behind the 29, working the bottom, and we got more trouble in turn number one. See if this one will just go off a little bit better now. Here we go. Man, I tell you, there's a little bit of a bump there. They're getting slightly airborne in one. Jordan Weaver is trying to make that happen. Oh no. We just can't seem to get through both ends of the racetrack with the modified slide. further back of the pack, but I think so. Lead Smith of two is going to lead that one. Jordan Weaver running in the second spot. Jordan gets a good run down the back straightaway. Lead Smith still holds him off. Good turn there for Jordan. That's a close one at the line. And Jordan Slides in front of the two. Walters is fought back. So unhappy at how things have transpired now, James is back in the picture. Kenny Carmichael Sr. running fourth. Weaver, once he got out front, has created a little bit of distance. There's Lock Miller, the 99. Here comes Jordan. Green is out. 15 circuits remain. Carmichael taking a peek to the outside again. Can he get some run there? Walters working the inside. Trying to get back in the second position. Leads, 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 and does it.
Not much in a way of battle among the top five for now. Looks like a little bit of smoke with back in West Lee's 5L. That might be entire wear or rub. We'll have to wait and see. He's got some modified bodywork at the rear, as you can see, and that may be starting to create a little bit of difficulty with the tire. Man, oh man, did you see that? Look at the hole right there, Jordan Weaver. I think all four wheels were off the ground, and that gives Walter the chance at the halfway point. You're not going forward when you're in the air, and that enabled Walters to make up some ground. So James, who probably thought his chance for victory had gone away early, now has the bit between his teeth again and can smell the possibility for a great night. But to do so, we'll have to dispatch a Jordan Weaver, who aside from a couple of hiccups in one, through no fault of his own, has ran a masterful race. Traffic can be an issue, as you can see. Two running side by side, pace being one of them, in front of your leaders. He's battling with R.T. Gamble, and that's not what your leaders want to see. Or perhaps, Walters does. Sometimes in this situation, far better to follow. So here's the situation, you can see it in front of you. Weaver right now down the bottom. Walters with him, but will he stay there? Now Weaver jumps to the outside. He's gonna run that rim well. One bobble of Walters is there. Approaching the 10 of pace. Here's your leader Weaver, he's ducked in behind him, but Walters nowhere near a position to perhaps overtake him. Now Weaver goes to the outside. If Walters gets hung up here trying to get around pace, that may put the wind on a platter for Weaver. But he doesn't. He's able to get around him but the sand is running through the hourglass. Leeds was still comfortably in third. But white flag comes out and Jordan cannot bobble. going to come around and take it. Walters runs second, Leedsman, Kenny Carmichael. Good run indeed. How about it? Let's hear it for Jordan Weaver, your winner.